Hi, my name is Romain Avril. I'm the executive chef here at Neruda in Toronto in the beaches. You know, my passion is food. It's been with me forever since I was 14 years old. Uh, really, this is where everything started. Um, I've never really knew what had drawn me into it. It just happened. It was just something that was created inside me. Um, I was going with my uh, summer camp with my schoolmates and there would be tennis available. Like You could ride on a horse, but like I would actually stay in with the lunch ladies and make lunch with helping them out, you know, as best as I could. So um, really it's been inside me and I've never really been able to answer that question because I don't know how it happened. I don't really have anyone in my family that really cooks or in the industry. I think it was just, you know, like some people are like, you know, like this, it's like a destiny, you know what I mean? Like I was like made to be a chef one day. So Neruda is a very different type of restaurant from what I'm done and what I'm used to. Um, it's more, it's less about the chef and the creative mind, but more so about the beauty of the product and the suppliers. So we went out there, sourced the best fish, the best meat, um, the best vegetable for the vegan dishes, and really took what was at the best of the peak of the season, uh, brought it back using the 24 feet uh, charcoal and wood fire that we have, um, the biggest one ever built uh, out of Grill Works, Michigan and um, really try to like make it even better by just putting on the grill, using that like beautiful smoke, the beautiful flavor from the wood and put it on the plate with the right seasoning and really let the, the people that grew it really speak. Um, less about the chef, more about Canada and any suppliers. It's really hard to say I have a, a favorite dish um, because you know when you create a menu, you kind of feel like they're all yours and they're all a bit of your babies. Um, but it's one dish that, you know, I don't really have a staple dish because we change by season, but it's one dish that I keeps, that I keeps keeping on my menus even though I change restaurant will be my tuna tartar um, because I feel like it's a very good reflection of who I am. Um, might not be a reflection of the, what that restaurant is, but really I think there's, there's got to be like, like a, a track, like a trace of me uh, in all of my menus. And the tuna tartare really represent my French background with my love for Asian flavors um, and then the beauty of the plating as well. So that's kind of the three things that I combine in with that dish. So even though it's not like a new dish, it will, I think, always be like a signature um, and something dear to me because it represents me very well. So I got very lucky to be uh, picked by Nespresso uh, two and a half years ago now and to be their ambassador. And uh, a couple of months after, actually, Monogram uh, reached out to me and uh, interviewed me to be their chef ambassador as well. It was really a huge surprise and kind of a, a turn in my career as well. Um, when you go from being in the kitchen every day to be more, you know, in front of the cameras and with exchanging with people and it's kind of a different different job, uh, but something that I really enjoy and really thrive. It's, it's exciting, um, you know, it's something that I didn't know I was capable of or I would like it one day, like 10 years ago, but nowadays, like having a mix of the everyday cooking and the passion mixed with being able to really, the way I see it is, is like being an ambassador of my job and, and my passion and my craft, not just of Monogram and not just of Nespresso, it's like be able to expose what we do and shine a light on, on the industry. Um, so it's, it's an honor and a blessing and then every opportunity that I have every day, I'm, I'm just thankful for.